Hey guys, this is Mark Hutton with AdultAsperger'sChat.com and I often get emails from the NT wives and she will say, uh, <clears throat> well, uh, when I suggest that he might have Asperger syndrome, uh, he feels like he's being criticized and that it's uh, cruel that I even mention that. And so I've got a message for the, the guys out there who haven't been diagnosed and are afraid to go get diagnosed. Let me ask you this, what do you have to lose? If you don't have the disorder, quote unquote, you can go get an assessment and prove to her that you don't have it. That's a win for you. If you do have the disorder, you have it whether you go get a diagnosis or not. So you, you think that if you don't have it and then you go to the diagnostician and he does an assessment and says that, oh, well you have it, that there in that moment you have it when you didn't have it before you walked in the door? If you go get an assessment and he says, yes, you pass enough of the criterion to uh, get the diagnosis of autism spectrum disorder level one, you've had it ever since you were born. So my question is, what do you have to lose to go get an assessment? A little bit of money, a little bit of time. You either don't have it and then you can prove to her now, you accuse me of having high-functioning autism, Asperger's syndrome, autism, whatever we're calling it. And the diagnostician said, I don't have it. So maybe you can just stop talking about it now. But if you go and get the assessment and they say, yeah, you have it, you already had it. That's nothing new. So are you afraid to find out that you have it? That's what's really going on, isn't it? You're afraid to find out that you have it. It's kind of like uh, people who uh, think that they might have some cancer somewhere, but they're afraid to go get a test for, because they don't, they don't want to be told that they have cancer. It's kind of ridiculous, isn't it? By the way, uh, if, you do, if you do go get an assessment, and they say, yeah, you have ASD level one. Did you know that there's no, shouldn't be any shame in that? If you got diagnosed with diabetes, you wouldn't all of a sudden feel ashamed or uh, feel like you gotta hide it. And by the way, there's a lot of strengths that come with autism spectrum disorder level one. Way more strengths than weaknesses. And some of those strengths, the neurotypical or the quote normal person doesn't have it. Uh, for example, uh, on average, the person on the autism spectrum is more uh, is more intelligent than the average bear. The person on the autism spectrum is very good at systematizing, at logic. I mean, and the list goes on and on and on. And a lot of these traits, these positive traits. The typical person doesn't have them. You know, you're on the computer a lot. Well, the guy that created the, the damn thing had Asperger's syndrome. And I'm sure you can Google and probably already have all of the famous people with, uh, they would have called it Asperger's syndrome uh, prior to, I don't know, about, I think about eight years ago now, they've, they changed the Diagnostic Statistic Manual of Mental Disorders when we when they went to edition number five. It went from Asperger Syndrome to, uh, they just kind of lumped it in with the autism spectrum. But at any rate, um, there's uh, many people, actors, musicians, computer scientists, engineers, the list goes on and on and on and on. People with autism spectrum disorder. There's nothing to be ashamed about if you uh, get if you get the diagnosis uh, there's no reason to fear it it's not a disease it's not a death sentence it's simply a different way of thinking uh, most specifically it's a way of thinking that uh, has more to do with task completion and logic and not so much uh, dealing with uh, you know social stuff and 
emotions and whatnot. So, um, I don't know. I hate to talk down to you or make you think that I'm being critical, but maybe just put your big boy pants on and go get the damn assessment.